Our planet is full of different phenomena many of us have never heard of, and today we're going to be discussing one such phenomena that recently made itself announced once again. Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and our story starts on Twitter. This wonderful person by the name of Mark Tenge recently posted a video that was circulating in the country of Azerbaijan that showed this. Now initially a lot of people assumed that this was an explosion in one of the many oil rigs in the country. Azerbaijan is known for its oil production. But a lot of scientists, including Mark, knew that something else is happening here. This right here is what's known as the Mud Volcano. A phenomenon that I think most of us have probably never heard of, mostly because it's localized to certain regions in the world. Now Mark actually explains a lot of different points about these volcanoes, although technically they're not true volcanoes, in a lot of his Twitter posts, but I'm going to try to give you a summary. So generally speaking, a mud volcano is something that erupts and something that's made out of mud. But despite the name, it's not a true volcano. It's something that erupts like a volcano, but it actually has a very different mechanism that involves a lot of pressure concentrating on the inside and usually contains muddy water. Although in many cases, it also contains a lot of different gas that's pressurized. But there are several locations in the world usually associated with volcanoes, actual volcanoes, that often have mud volcanoes next to them as well. Two examples here would be some locations in New Zealand and the Yellowstone National Park. There are several geological processes that usually produce mud volcanoes, but they're not igneous volcanoes, they do not actually produce any lava and they're not driven by magmatic activity either. And generally, the eruptions do not produce anything superheated. As a matter of fact, usually the materials in the mud volcano are relatively cool, you can even touch it with your hand. But some of these formations, especially the ones in Azerbaijan, often erupt in a superheated mixture of mud and water that could be as hot as 100 degrees Celsius or even more. But the pressurized buildup on the inside also has a chance to release a lot of different gases, including gases like methane that sometimes, as you can probably see right here, have a tendency to explode. Now in this case, the explosion itself was probably caused by some sort of a spark, probably from a lot of rocks flying away as well, and some of these rocks might have actually created the spark that ignited the methane and a lot of other gases released here. And as a result, it produced a fireball that was about 500 meters in height. And in general, even smaller mud volcanoes have a tendency to sort of set on fire and remain lit for a very, very long time. But because this was such a huge explosion, the initial assumption was that it was either an oil rig exploding or possibly even an attack. But this was of course not the case, especially because something like this in exactly the same spot happened back in 1958 as well. It was also around 500 meters in height and produced just as big of a fireball as it did right now. Now, interestingly, you might have actually never heard of these phenomena before. And also interestingly, a lot of them are really localized to this particular region in Azerbaijan. There are approximately 1100 known mud volcanoes in the world and almost half of them, approximately 400, are pretty much located in the region right here in the Caspian Sea in Azerbaijan which also includes some of the most violent and biggest mud volcanoes in the world. This one right here, known as Toragai, is the biggest known. It's actually roughly a few kilometers across, with this beautiful picture taken by the scientist by the name of Orhan Abasov. And because of this, a lot of these mud volcanoes are essentially a national symbol for the country, and are even used in certain religious practices. But even though a lot of these volcanoes, mud volcanoes, are not really dangerous and are more of a fascination, some of them, like this one right here that erupted in 2006 in Indonesia, have actually caused major destruction and a lot of damage in the past. This particular mud volcano eruption is known as Lushi, or Sidoarjo mud flow. And even though it started back in 2006, it hasn't stopped erupting since, dramatically transforming the entire region where it's located and creating this huge formation in the middle of an area where there used to be a town. Now today it's expected it's going to be erupting for possibly 20 years, maybe a little bit less, but it's not going to be stopping anytime soon. But because this is not a lava eruption but a mud eruption, it ends up producing a lot of different mud flows, which as you can see in this picture can be very destructive. This ended up displacing approximately 40,000 people that used to live here, and unfortunately there were also some fatalities. But luckily for us, nothing major happened here, except for the explosion itself. But because this happened so quickly on July 4th of 2021, American Independence Day I guess, 
it's not entirely it's still not entirely clear exactly where this happened there were some potential reports of a sudden heat wave coming from this region right here reported by nasa satellites but it's still not entirely clear if this was something entirely different with the most likely location being this little island right here located not so far away from the capital of azerbaijan baku so that's basically what we know about this so far but there's one more important reason I wanted to talk about this. Something in regards to Mars. A few years ago, the scientists also realized that several interesting features on Mars also seem to resemble mud volcanoes, with a lot of features that were identified resembling something that we usually find in places like Azerbaijan as well. As a matter of fact, today a lot of scientists do suspect that Mars used to have mud volcanoes as well, and some of them were huge. And that's of course extremely important if this was true. That would imply that Mars had a lot of geological activity in the past and a lot of it involved liquid water. At the same time there were probably also natural gases and on Earth at least a lot of these natural gases are generally produced by some sort of bacterial life. So there are a lot of different questions that could be potentially answered if we were to investigate these ancient mud volcanoes on Mars by using some of the future probes. And since many of these Martian mud volcanoes also appear to be way, way bigger in size, with so many different ones located over the years, it actually does provide a very interesting opportunity to study this in more detail and possibly discover something absolutely incredible on Mars as well. But I guess for now, well, that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. And it does go into some more detail about other facts as well. And once we learn more, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video sometime in the future. So make sure to subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. And either way, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.